Hey beautiful people, my name is Kristen. Thank you for stopping by my channel, looking at today's Stitch Fix. And I am happy to report, I actually got the preview and I was super happy to have that option. I looked and I knew I had my stylist. It doesn't tell you that, but I knew because all 10 things were things that I would love to get. So that's a problem, but I picked five and they are here and then after I was done I thought that was a lot of fun and I didn't film it so I the first question is would you like me to film me seeing a preview and picking and putting that footage in or do you not care because <laughs> you know I thought it was fun and I like the unboxing if you don't like the unboxing I know people can just fast forward to the part they like but I like the unboxing part um, I'll peek just to make sure that I did get my stylist, but I'm like 100% sure it's Rebecca. Oh yes. So I'll read the note and I'll share anything exciting. So I will tell you that I got shoes and I got another bag. So I got that little pocket pouch last month and took it on my trip and I loved it. And I love the brand. I researched it. It's Swedish. And so I asked for another one. And then this is cool. So this is the brand. It is like, it's like a canvas, almost water. It's definitely water resistant. It's if not even waterproof. And um, it has a zipper. It looks like it even has two zippers. Like you could maybe put your, let's see how big this one. Yeah, it's a per there's one little pocket that's perfect for your phone. And, um, and the inside is kind of a plasticky lining, so it would just be great. Oh my goodness. So, what do you think about the color? So, there's handles here, and then there's um, handle and padded backpack. So, this is the Fall Raven. It's the dark. Vardag tote pack in mustard. So this is just great and nice and nice and big and full. This is bigger than I was expecting. I was thinking that this was going to be like purse size, but this is definitely full tote backpack size. So I did order one on Shop My Looks and it's here. So we're going to compare. <laughs> so this is the one that I got off of Shop Your Looks. It has the their logo on it. It also has a handle and then padded backpack straps. And what I like is this has hooks and then it has an adjuster. So you can stuff this thing really, really full. There's a zipper pocket on the outside. So this again would be great for your phone and car keys and things that you needed to get to rather quickly. And then this inside again kind of has that it's not um you know completely waterproof but it's water resistant and then it has snaps there on the outside so you can like keep on stuffing it and the more you stuff it then you can let out these straps all the way out here so that you can still get the um hook back hooked on there so I think that's really great. You know, like a lot of times in your backpack, you're stuffing, trying to get your zipper zipped open or shut because you've overstuffed it. And I love the color. This color I adore. So I like this color better than this color, but this color is nice and rugged and outdoorsy. So what I'm kind of looking for is that weekender bag or a hiking bag, even if it got a little rained on or whatever, just doing more traveling, more RVing. So those are the two options. And by the way, if you do shop your looks and you get a fix, you can return your shop your look items in your same return. So let's look at the shoes. They are a red suede. These are cute. Um, violet and red. So I'm definitely gonna try them on. I actually think I put these exact ones on my inspiration board. So here we go. So this is like mesh here 
and they just looked comfortable but still dressy I like that they were sh really a short heel um, I just think those are gorgeous so I look forward to trying those so, so those are my shoes and then the mustard bag so there should be three other oh it's heavy wow so there should be a pair of denim shorts and two dresses But it's hard to tell from a preview. So here's the first dress. It is super kind of slinky, wrinkle-free knit material. It's just a simple scoop neck, flutter sleeves, kind of uh, knee length is what it's supposed to be anyway. And I like the flowers it, I mean, they're a little fall colors, right, with the kind of more muted, but I think it's fine for in the summer. And um, especially because I have like, you know, the yellow shoes or a lot of the citrus kind of accessories. So anyway, I'm wearing a lot of dresses now, a lot of skirts, skirts and dresses and maxis, a lot of maxis. So this is a gorgeous pattern. Look at all those colors. Very 70s. I'm trying to find the top. Okay. So it's a crisscross and it's a full length maxi. So we'll see if I'm too short for it. But I love the colors. I love that. Isn't that pretty? And it, again, it's that material. I can wad it up in a suitcase take it with me. I'm going on a trip to Texas and we're going to go down to the San Antonio River Walk. And I'm really thinking this because it's got open shoulders and, you know, kind of sleeveless almost. It would be fantastic and just beautiful down on that San Antonio River Walk. So, and then these are driftwood which I adore driftwood. And if nothing else, I wanted to try them and I can find driftwood often on ThreadUp and Poshmark and eBay for usually like half price, but I just love this detail. So she had put a couple other shorts that looked great in my preview, but these were definitely the most unique and I love driftwood. And I don't think I have any driftwood shorts. So there we go. Well, let me see what these are called. They're called the Cheryl Embroidered Side Stripe. So there you go. Those look really cute. All right. I do have one other shop your look that is supposed to come in two days. So I think what I'm going to do is ask for an extension, wait for that to come in, film and add that on to the end of my try on footage, and then we can decide because then I can put it all back in the return envelope that they send for my fix and just decide and credit it that way. Or I may be keeping all of it. Let's see how it fits. So I put on this top that you may be familiar with from a recent fashion box and I couldn't decide if I should get it because it was similar to a Stitch Fix top I had gotten, but I'm so glad I kept it because I think this makes a great outfit in this box. So I have on the shorts by Driftwood, the Cheryl embroidered side stripe and they are $68. They have a regular button zip. They've got the cute side embroidery, very boho, hippie-esque. I like the fading on it. I like the raw hem, but it's kind of cuffed to give a more straight edge. You could uncuff it or cuff it more if you wanted to. You've got the back pockets here. I think it's a pretty good shape. It is really, really stretchy and they're very loose on me, which is great. They run a little big in size. So I may, I asked my husband and we kind of think, I mean, I tried to demonstrate pulling them off without doing the buttons and I basically can. So I think I could make these work, but if they have them available a size down, I may want to give that a go. So I know it's, not, it's by the time I've backed up to show you the shoes, um, I'll angle it down so you can see the full effect, but 
I know you don't get to a lot of the detail with the shoes, but you can kind of get a glimpse into the outfit, how adorable this is with the red shoes and the embroidered shorts and then my latest fashion top. I just think this is a really superbly cute outfit and I think this is a great outfit I would like to take on my Texas trip soon. So let me do a close up of you of the shoes and give you that information. These say violet and red on the shoe, but on the sheet it says Isaac Mizrahi. So I'll put that on the screen. It's the Marisol Mesh Inset Suede Sandal in red. They are $69. So I think these are just gorgeous. They are super comfortable. Not much of a heel. The strap is adjustable. I've actually got it tighter on one than the other. And these are a six. I'm usually a five and a half, but these fit very comfortably. I don't think they're too loose on the strap. So definitely a contender. This is the Nine Britain Nelsie knit dress in black. It's $44. It is the cheapest thing in the box. I love this material. It is just like a super stretchy knit. I like the flavor of the sleeves and I like the length, which is to the top of my knees. And normally dresses that have pockets are a good thing. So these have pockets. But do you see how the pockets don't lay flat? I've like played with it and pulled at it and it never completely like lays flat. So I think that would always bother me, but I think if they weren't there, it would be really cute. And I, I'm not totally in love with this pattern, but I do like it a lot. Um, I like it actually better up close than far away. Far away, it kind of looks more abstract boxy pattern but it's comfortable it's easy but um yeah i don't know if this is going to allow it to be five for five but that's all right let's check out the other dress which i'm super excited about might maybe one of the favorite things in the box so let's see look at the fun patterns and colors on this this is market and spruce the helena faux wrap knit dress it is a petite, although it is borderline too long. Um, my husband said he would worry that I would trip on it going up and down the little slopes and whatnot, but give me your opinion. It's $78. I really like the crisscross and the neckline. I like the cut of it around the underarms and around the back. I think that's beautiful. The tie, right it's kind of my natural waist is down here so i usually generally like it a little higher up like that it is a complete faux wrap where it's sewn completely shut even if this breezes i love the material of it and then if i can scoot back all the way you can see it's just totally against the top of my foot slash it is kind of touching the ground, just brushing on the ground already. So, gosh, this screams San Antonio River Walk though. So if you, I'm 5'2", if you're just slightly taller than that, you should order the petite. If you're a lot taller, this does come, not petite as well. So you may want to request it because this is an amazing dress that I'm going to have to debate just a little bit, but let's look at the bags. This first one that came in my fix is the Fajal Raven Vardag Tote Pack in mustard for $70. These are pricey. It was $40 just for the little pocket one, but I really think these will last forever and ever. Like, I think even if you had like a little knife along it, it would, you know, take that kind of severe abuse before it would really fall apart on you. So I love the double zip, one for your phone, one for a big opening. There's also a perfect thing for your iPad. My iPad would fit in there. Um, it's also looks, there's a pin holder, a place for a pin. 
So super nice, right? Adjustable backpack straps, hand carry $70. The other one that I got off a of Shop Your Look, so I wouldn't get the discount if I got five for five, although I don't think I'm gonna be getting five for five with my box anyway, uh, but it also has the handle grip. It's got the nice padded, double reinforced straps, adjustable. It's got the awesome hook extension that I showed in the opening with the extra zipper and then wide open backpack that can actually snaps to give you even more room. And this one is 115, which, you know, is quite a bit more, but I think maybe I like the style and the look of this one over this one. Like this one's kind of more official and this one's more like a tote that you could carry your books. I could probably justify having both of them in my life, especially if the fix was a five for five, but I don't know y'all. We've got to have a little toxin about this. So it's two or three days later. Here is the BB Dakota Steve Madden tiered dress. And I'm just really bummed because this is so my colors, so my style, that kind of boho flair that I love, but it's just too short. I mean, this is a mini skirt. This is not a skirt. So I could not wear this to work or church. This is just strictly date night. And I don't know that this is really my husband's thing. Um, and it's almost $70. So sadly, I think I'm going to be sending this back, but if this is your style and jam and you would get some use out of this, or I may, because this is not a Stitch Fix exclusive, I may watch it for a sale if it goes 50% off, I would probably go ahead and get that use out of it. But I just wanted to show it, love it, love it, love it. And um, I can show it a little bit closer during the recap, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so to recap, <laughs> I think after showing my husband and talking it over, we are decided I'm going to keep this bag and send the mustard one back. Um, it, this is just a more practical functionality. And also he was saying like when we're hiking and in the wilderness, the other one had the much larger handles. And then I love the shoes. He said, if I was only keeping one thing to keep the shorts, uh, but if I only kept one thing, I would keep these shoes. I just think they're classic, versatile, comfortable. Um, just, I love them. And then, so the shorts we watched for two or three days and they sold out. They didn't even come up as available with any size. And this was my husband's favorite thing in the box. And he said, they were so me, I had to keep them. They weren't that bad as far as being big and they're comfortable because they're honestly are a little too big but they're just they really are me and they really are super comfortable got stretch without you know falling off and then sadly the skirt I looked at the description it doesn't say it's a mini skirt but it is so a mini skirt and I love it even for date night but just for the price I'm not going to wear it enough y'all I'm just I'm really I'm really really bummed I wish this was to the top of my knees instead of a mini skirt so I'm gonna go ahead and send this back because I have so many cute boxes coming and the Nordstrom anniversary sales coming back and I'm keeping the backpack which is kind of a splurgy item this month so and I'm gonna get I'm gonna I, I know I'm gonna use that backpack for the rest of my life so um, yeah those are the three keepers and I appreciate I would love to hear what your favorite piece is if you have any of these or if you know, you just want to share whatever you've been getting in your box that maybe I want to look up and request. That would be helpful. So thank you for tuning in. If you have not already liked and subscribed, that would help me out. And I always appreciate it. Y'all have a fantastic summer, fantastic day. Take care.